for you, Bantamweight MMA. The ghost Chen Ray faces the Philippines' Drex Zambuanga. Zambuanga, four years the elder, one inch the taller as China faces the Philippines. Global Rules MMA, three five-minute rounds. Bout judged in its entirety, not round by round. Knees to the head of a grounded opponent are legal. No spiking or throws on the head, neck, and spine. to see him here in Lone Paney Stadium. Drex has been working hard out there in Manila, Philippines at his own gym, T-Rex MMA, and is now getting ready to face Chan Ray. This karate black belt says he wants to keep it standing and put on a show, Gianni. Drex Sambawanga, since last December, he has been in the lab working on his weaknesses. He told us that takedown defense, the speed, power of his strikings, and the conditioning of his legs were all things that he needed to work on. He has spent so much time doing that as his own gym, like you talked about. There's so much talent in that room. Fritz Biakhtan, Ali Igaron, his sister, the menace, Denise Sambawanga, all part of that team. So he has the ability to take the time off to focus on fights when he needs to. Sambawanga sees himself not just as a martial artist, but an entertainer. He says every time he goes in there, he wants to look for the highlight reel and the finish. 17 years of martial arts experience later, Sambawanga says that nothing has changed. The plan tonight, find a highlight reel finish over his opponent, the ghost, Chen Rui. From the red corner, Chen Rui! Jakarta Bantamweight Tournament Champion. This guy is planning on ending Drex Zambuanga's four fight winning streaks as it ends here today. Chen Ray is a fighter's fighter. This guy goes forward okay to take one just to be able to give one back. You know I'm a fan of Chen Ray, and I know you are too. Gina Massive Kuma. fan of the ghost myth, Chen Roy. In terms of opposition, Chen Roy has fought the very best, Juan Juan Il, Mark Alvarado, Wing Song Jong, you name it, he's fought them all. Coming back here after a little bit of a hiatus where he had to heal his injuries, lingering back issues, shoulder issues, but now he says he finally feels fight ready. In the last time that we saw him, he was dealing with some COVID-related issues. He said that he only had two minutes in the tank, and after that, his body just gave away. But when he's on Mitch, he's so exciting to watch. Light on his feet, he's got the beautiful striking, the right hand, counter right hand has dropped many opponents, and he will be in the face of Drake Zambuanga all night long. He's been working on the takedown defense too. This is such a fantastic fight, Mitch. I cannot wait to call this one. Coming up is three five-minute rounds of Bantamweight MMA. Presented to you by Monster Energy, Unleash the Beast. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, training out of T-Rex MMA and Tough Guys International, holding a mixed martial arts record of 14 and 5. Representing the Philippines, Drex T-Rex Zambuanga! And introducing the opponent, out of the red corner, training out of a Chengdu Ashura Fight Club, holding a mixed martial arts record of 15 and 5. Representing China, the ghost, Chan Rui! Referee Kemp Chang giving the final instructions to Drek Zambuanga in the black with blue tape. And Chen Ray 
with the just, black just shorts dying. and Ready. red tape. Ready. And this go. bantamweight mixed martial arts contest is about to go. Rex Zamboanga says he's been working hard on his striking out there with the number three ranked Adam Weight contender. Shout out to Denise Zamboanga. And uh, he says he wants to strike with Chen Rei. And it's, it's clear that Chen Rei has had a weakness on the ground. But Drex wants to keep this thing on the feet and showcase his knockout level striking. And it says that he has a lot of new things in store for us tonight. Some jumping, some spinning. He wants to put his karate on display here tonight against the ghost Chen Rei. At the moment, it's the pressure of Drex walking Chen Rei down. But Chen Rei looking good, angling out the way. Chen Rui told us, Mitch, in the pre-fight interviews, the low hand style here of Drex is going to leave him open for the counter right hand, but it is so far Drex landing the heavier shots in these exchanges, Mitch. Drex swinging big. He's landed with that straight short right, too. He's been able to touch Chen Rui a few times with it. It's like a clubbing right hand, but it's so heavy. That lead left hook as well, having the hand low, makes it easy for him to loop that left hand over. Ooh, almost catches Chen Rui there on the jaw. But I like the calf kick right now of Chen. Slowing down that movement of Drex. Right hand to the body again. Drex is looking sharp on the feet. Yeah, mixing in the leg kicks now too. Chen Ray going to the body, going up top, switching stances on us. Going southpaw now. Let's see what he fires off the other side. Digging low with the calf kick. Goes back to orthodox. Matches the stance of Drex. Drex really trying to close off the ring. Chen Rui showing off that nice ring craft there. Going lateral movement away from the charging Drex. But he eats two jabs there, Drex. I like the lateral movement, especially when he starts drifting to the left side of Drex. Drex looking for a takedown. It's that defense he says he's been working on. A nice stiff arm to deny Drex that single leg. I gotta say, I was questioning his, his uh, defensive strategy when it comes to the takedowns. Rather than studying the skills, you know, of takedown defense and wrestling, he just worked on his conditioning. And rather than, you know, you made a pretty good point that sometimes you just don't have the gas tank to perform the techniques that you know. But judging by the bricks inside Chen Rei's stomach, he definitely put in that work in that conditioning area and is very light on his feet and showcasing good, fluid movement early on here. What a fantastic fight, this one. Both men. digging the body, going. Looks like Drex did not like that one. I don't like the way Drex is looking away when he's throwing that jab, either. Oh, nice check there. Catches him on the eye, Mitch. That one bothered him, and Drex goes right for the takedown. Well, look at this. Beautiful. Defense right there from Chen Rei as he digs the underhook, keeps Drex upright, and goes right back to the ball. Yeah, he cracked him earlier with that, with that left hook for the body. Now Chen Rei is trying to seize that moment. Get Drex out of there. Big knee to the head. Move the body again. Let's see him go back to the body. Chen Rei's going hand hunting for that body shot. Could be there for him. Drex got to get on his bicycle and move. This is a fight that can put them back up into the mix, into some future contender bouts. Chen Rui with a beautiful left hook to the body, hurting Drex Zamboanga. And he has them on the ropes again, Nick. Drex is still in trouble. Look out. on the right side. Can Drex finish this takedown? The body is hurting Drex. Can he utilize 40 seconds here? Eat up this clock, stay nice and tight inside that clinch. Or can Chen Rei keep going back to the body? Chen Rei has turned some of the most exciting grapplers and strikers in the world into grapplers. And now Drex needs that takedown. He's keeping that right hand really close to his body, too. Doesn't want Chen Rei to come anywhere close to it. Massive body shots by Chen Rei in the first round. Having Zambuanga in trouble. 
One with the left hook to the body, and another one was a left knee inside that clinch. Massive first round for the Chinese athlete. But good gamesmanship, good mental approach. Smart from Drex to survive that. He was noticeably hurt, was able to defend correctly, go to the takedowns when he needed to, do exactly what he must do to get this fight into the second round. Talk us through this first. These are some of the striking exchanges early. Both men had some big shots, but as this left hook, right on the money, you see Drex forced to take that double leg shot. And that's the second one, right in the solar flex. There's two different shots, both to the body, both taking the air to Drex Zambuanga. There's a counter right hand. Another look at this knee here. Right to the solar plexus, and Drex grimaces right away. But what toughness by Drex to survive that body shot and stay on his feet. This is an incredible fight so far. Yeah, Drex with the toughness, the mental fortitude to keep going. We've seen a lot of people folded in half by body shots, especially with these small gloves. Level up your work from home coffee with this 99 peso milk frother from Le Go! Drex toughs his way through it and puts together a nice little left kick to the left hand combination. Drex is going to have to mix things up because Chen Ray is looking sharp on the feet early on. Drex got a nice heavy jab. He's popped Chen Ray a couple times now. Look at the goal. Left hook to the bottom. Left hook up touch. Changes the stance, puts pressure on the side, puff, looks to go to the meat of the body. Drex catches it, drives forward, sweeps up the leg with the ropes, keep Chen Ray upright. Drex goes down deep, looks like his hands caught in the ropes. Ken Chang separates. And we're back up top. Chen Ray pushes off. Chen Ray going right back to the box, looking to land that left knee, Mitch. But it is Drex with the lead hand, the jab and the left hook's really doing some good damage in the second round. Light on his toes, Chen Rui, Drex Sambawanga. It's a nice left straight there from the ghost. Lumpini Stadium has just historically been known as the mecca of Muay Thai, but now Gianni. Mixing things up with mixed martial arts. How cool is it to see your support here on Showcase with two high-level bantamweights? Such an honor, Mitch, to be here calling these fights. Zambawanga again looking to push back. Chen Rui finding that lead hand. So accurate, Chen Rui, right on his toes. But it is Zambawanga landing the heavier shots, the jab. It's a very hammering jab, the right hand as well has a lot of weight behind it. Different to the snappy shots coming from the Chinese athlete Chen Rui. Just like that. Sam Wong to put that jab out there. Now Chen Rui starting to move his head. Slipping off to his right. Nice little check hook landed there. You can see Sam Wong keeping that right hand real close and protected to his body. Doesn't want Chen Rui to attack that liver no more. Wouldn't mind seeing Chen Rui switching to southpaw and start throwing kicks to that body. Double jab there landed by Zambuanga. Now Chen Rui looking to slip and counter. Zambuanga as well trying to find the timing for that right hand, but at the moment picking Chen Rui from that outside range. But with Drex keeping his hand low like that, that's going to impair his defense, especially when Chen Rui switches and he's going lead hand heavy here. Then the calf kicks as well. Chen Rui has gone back to the first round they did. A lot of damage, scoring, looking for that left grip again, Chen Rui, so slick, so comfortable inside this boxing range. He left again, switching back and forth, Chen Rui. Was looking for that left knee earlier in the second round, but Drex aware, not giving him that shot. I like the kicks coming from Drex, it's a good change of pace, as Chen Rui looks to attack the body, they spin around. Those body shots really doing some damage. You see, Drex wins every time one of those shots land. Chen Rui now looking to go both sides on the southpaw stance. Left straight right down the middle. Left grip. He's an orthodox stance. But 
he strikes with a nice left hook and pushes Chipri back. There's that jab fired off from Zamboanga. Score well with it. You see the right eye of Zamboanga. It's time to show some damage from those lead hands of Chen Rui. I think really in the first round he landed a nice left hook that really had him worried. He set up that body shot. Now Chen Rui pushing forward. Pushing him on the ropes. Oh, Drex gets deep into a takedown, but beautiful defense from Chen Rui. As he's able to defend, keep it on the feet. Nice little counter left hand by Zambuanga. As Chen Rui continues to push forward in that clinch. Drex is so tough. Oh, that tough kick. Good timing from Drex to time it as he came around. Drex catches him on a single leg. Let's see if he can finish. Ray, he's trying to drop the down. Nice by Ray to get back up to his feet. The crowd loving that. Entertaining two rounds in the books. We go to three. Third and final round in this bantamweight mixed martial arts battle. That's that left knee again. Chuck Rose tried to do damage to that body early on, but Drex had a much better round in the second round. Starting to push forward, land some heavy shots. That's a right hand. The left hand landed all throughout the round as well. There's a beautiful left straight here. Short southpaw straight by Chen Rui. Able to mix it up on southpaw and orthodox stance. That's a heavy jab from Zambawanga. Such a close fight, Mitch. Yeah, Zambuang is working his way back in. One jab at a time. Pick, pick. Drick Zambuanga, Chen Ray in the third and final round. Lumpini Stadium, one Friday fight. Let's see who wants it the most, Gianni. Both men have been on the big stage. They're trying to work. Their way back up there, Mitch. Talented bantamweights in action. Chen Rui from China, Drex from the Philippines. Drex goes right back to work with the jab. Zabalaka pushes forward. Three or four big shots. Covered by Drex and he's left as well. And Wonga throwing the offbeat combination, scoring heavily with that right hand. Level change, attack the legs right away, didn't even go after the hips. But as how we set it up, four or five big shots to the head, got Chen Rui thinking, striking, and that level change right into that double leg. It's a massive takedown in the third round for Zambuanga. Chen showcased that takedown defense, let's see how well he does. Can he work his way back up to the feet? He needs to start building the base. Goes into the butterfly guard, Zambuanga leaves a little bit of pressure. And Chen Ray was able to create a little bit of space, get back into Butterfly Guard. Now he's got those hooks in. Let's see if he can elevate and look to scramble back up to his feet. This is really important. If Sam Wong can keep this here, land some heavy ground and pound, and start attacking some submissions. Chen Ray trying to use the butterfly hooks to push Zambuanga back and dig the underhook. But Zambuanga has a lot of submission finishes to his name. He's got to watch out to not give up his back. And Zambuanga passes to side control here. Some deep breaths coming from Chen. Was a high output two rounds. Now Drex on top. Slides the knee in, that right side to prevent the, the regard, Chen Ray from regarding, but good job by Chen Ray to work his way back up, gets to one knee. Let's see if he can climb his way back up to his feet as Drex struggles to keep him down. Might give up his back in the process, but Chen Ray wisely goes chest to chest, frames off. Chen Ray doing the good things. Look at him trying to peel away on that wrist. Wants to find his ability to pop back to the knee. Now he can start working up to both feet. But he has to peel the hands of Drek Zambuanga Drek off him. That's a warning from the ref. Great job. He's got the turn there now. Oh, but Drex. Nice job by 
was doing some great work. Two massive takedowns in that third round. Able to transition so well. Drex Zambuanga in that third round. Right hand, right on the money, right on the jaw. That's that body work inside. Open guard there, but Chen Rui as well. It was an insane pace. Round one to round three. The conditioning didn't hold up in the last one, but this one, he went all three. The gas was on tonight, but Chen Rui, such a close fight. I don't know, Mitch, but if I had to score it, I think the body shots in the first round scored heavy for Chen Rui. This one, again, scored as a whole, not round by round. It'll be interested to see how the judges scored that massive last five minutes, Mitch. Definitely Chen Rui gave himself a huge lead in the first. Did Drex Zamboanga do enough in two and three to get the W? Let's find out. This match was presented to you by Monster Energy. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. Judge number one calls this contest in favor of Roy. Judge number two calls this contest in favor of Zamboanga. And judge number three calls this contest in favor of your winner by split decision, John Roy. Streak of the Filipino. Chen Ray, we can. 